So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the index, and I'm going to show anybody who needs to do the index or needs to figure out how to do the index or what strategies you should go in with for the index. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I index. All right, so before we go in, let's go ahead and look at what we're working with. First off, what we're looking at, 284% strength. It's not the max, but that's on purpose. Range doesn't matter. Efficiency is all right. What we're looking at really is we're looking at a bunch of armor, a bunch of power strength, ironclad charge, vigilant pursuit. Velocity for our secondary, strike for our melee, bada bing bada boom. Comb, it's a comb, do it as you wish. Orc and Nexus, why am I running gas? The reason I'm running gas is because corporate shields are resistant to radiation and Grenier, uh, the corrosive isn't strong enough for my liking. So I'll just take gas. If gas doesn't kill it, my melee will. You do as you wish. Don't really need this. You can replace this with Magna Force. Um, I just have it because I had it. So once again, another why, why not? What we're using is literally any slash weapon. This is the guy, the thing that the guy had a question about. You take any slash weapon with a base crit multiplier of around 20 or higher, and you basically just run viral on it. You don't need Prime Fever Strike. I recommend condition overload, blood rush, and weeping wounds, and I recommend some attack speed. If you can put range on it, cool, but basically you're going to need crit, status, condition overload, viral, and you're going to need some crit damage on it. If you can fit attack speed and range, by all means do that, but these five, not the mod specifically, like you can do, I don't know, you could do melee prowess, you could do, you know, sacrificial steel. You can do Virulent Scourge. You can do Prime Pressure Point right here. You can do a Malcolm Organ Shatter or a Gladiator Might, whatever you need. You know, it's up to your liking. You don't have to use a ribbon. Whatever you want to do right there. Key ingredient right here is going to be Daramon if you're playing melee because of that right there. Make sure to max that out and you are good. Right? Uh, pets are not allowed. Items are not allowed. Arc stuff is not allowed, so we're gonna ignore all that. This is pretty much all that you need for the index, or it's all that I need for the index. So, with that being said, let's go on ahead and do a index run. I'm gonna see if anyone wants to do the index. Posting high risk index, and we're gonna see what happens. Yummy. Snacking on these fruit snacks. All right. I'm assuming nobody else is going to come, so I'm not going to spend too much time. So, I don't think we got recruit. Oh, we got recruiting. Sure. See what happens if I don't get a hit in the next 10 
20 seconds. I'll go ahead and start. Oh, there's a hit. Might not be a troll. Okay. I feel like people set themselves up for failure. Might not be a troll. Hmm. Why would you say that? That's like some saying. Alright. Uh, we'll just do that. Public. Index. High risk. Alright. So depending on who you bring, right? We got Wukong, we got Rhino, right? So depending on who you bring, will kind of determine your role. Now, you can do um, you can do round skips, and a round skip is what you see Rhino's doing 99% of the time when you're in the index. You know the guy who has a million coins around him? What he's doing? is actually prepping for the next round. He's not just running around with a bunch of coins just to have a bunch of coins, right? Because once the next round starts, he's gonna dump in like 60, 70, 80, almost 100 of those of those credits, right? So don't bash them, do your part and turn in the points. Now, the way I've been having to do it is um, I've been having to grab maybe like 10, 20, turn those in and then go for my next round, right? Because come that time, around that time, that's when people usually start dumping points in. But it's up to you and your squad on how you're going to, you know, distribute the points or who's going to be doing what. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here is to see this slash stuff in effect, right? Now, if one does a spawn here, I'm going to show you where else you can go. This is on this map. Each one has its own. So you can come right here. There's one. And then two, and if you guys remember that mod, Ironclad Charge, right? So, what we're gonna do first is find one. There it goes. Ooh, we got multiples. We're gonna hit two. Boop. 284, that should give us over 20,000 armor. And, yep, 25,000 armor. And Vigilante Pursuit, as you can see, is running on my map. From here, we just murder everything inside. And as literal as I can make it, it's going to be pretty much just that easy. If I can find some enemies. Now, why would I take viral in the air if it's the corpus? The reason I take viral is because the shields ain't nothing. The issue isn't the shields. The issue is that armor that they have on. As you can see. I'm never worried about the shields. Forget the shields. Also, learn to spin to win. You don't have to use it to spin to win, but just learn how to do that consecutively. Everybody can do it once, but learn how to do it, you know, indefinitely. It'll get you around the index a lot quicker. Right. So I got about 15 points. As you can see, the timer's down. So now I have to turn in to increase the timer, because if I don't, there's a likelihood it will just turn to zero. Right, so, and this is a strategy I tell my guys, is you want to go into every situation as though you're soloing it. Because only you are, only you are the reason why, you, you are the reason why you guys fail. Not the team. Because you saw it, okay? You did nothing about it. That's why it's your fault. Alright. Look, I ain't even had a 12 times multiplier yet. This might leave or something. There, but that's okay. He might have DC or something. 
Now, why the catch moon? Because I can feel that question burning. This is why the catch moon. Bang. That's why the catch moon. There's no other reason than that reason right there. Even with the damage fall off. So Archiplasmors and all that extra, that's cool. But yeah. Why the comb? The comb is here for the pressure. You can use a Brahma in here. By all means, use a Brahma. What do you do about this? Well, you just walk into a crouch. That's all you do. Is there a point? I thought there was a point over here. Okay, so I have 30 points, right? Now, if you're on a team that can communicate, then one of you guys would designate a, to hold a bunch of points. But because it's only two of us and we're pugging, we're gonna, I'm just gonna throw in, every time I get 20 points, I'm just gonna throw them in. And the reason why is because you're capped at 10 bonus points. So once you hit 20, that's, you, you no longer get bonus points. So there's really no reason to keep stacking them outside of, you know, you just feel like stacking more. You know what I mean? But if anything, it's hurting you. Because if you get 40, because if you stack up to 40 points, you just gave up, you just gave up 10 additional points, basically. You know what I mean? It's not a huge deal, but it's just something to think about. Just who's the call. That looks like a lot of points. I want to get down there. Dude, how many points is that? That's four points. Oh, I gave it to him. Nice. Alright, so noticing how much time I wasted, and I still have an 11 times multiplier. This is why Nerevon is really good, particularly with Rhino. Now, if you're not playing Rhino, right, and you're playing somebody like Boban or Limbo, then of course you're going to want the Nurse, but that's because what you're doing in the Index does not require you to pick up points. So it's perfectly fine for you to bring this generic in that case. And believe it or not, I was actually using generic for a long time. <laughs> Literally until about yesterday. Okay, so I got 20 points. What was that? Oh, I got 30 points. Yeah, we're done. Boop. So there's that. On to the next round. And I recommend, if you can, do four rounds per. Now, this is going to happen. Kind of like um, Hydron, where people come in and they only stay for like one, two rounds. That's fine. Um, it just takes a little bit longer, but you, but unlike XP, you know what I mean? XP is kind of based on how many enemies you kill. Whereas this is just, the way I look at it in the index is it's based on how many enemies you kill determines how many points that you grab. Because if you're one of your one of the NPCs grab the point, they're just gonna usually they just run around with the points for a while. And that that causes that's what causes delays. It's not necessarily that they're not getting kills or not doing anything. It's just that they end up just running around with the points for a while. Nice. Two. Oh. Okay. Hey, welcome to the stream. I to drop the point. And as you will see, hopefully in this, well, not hopefully in this stream, but as you will see in the stream, what I'm doing literally goes up to, I'm only gonna do four waves, unless uh, he wants to go longer. But this, killing them that quick goes to four waves. Like they die that fast, all the way to four waves. Now I don't go past four waves because I just I just don't. I'm sure I can, it's not a problem. I just don't care about the prodman thing, so I don't really go past it. Plus, people usually don't, and it starts to really slow down when you start to solo. So instead of it just going crazy slow, like, if I had a team of four doing prod men, then sure, we'd be in there for uh, uh, two hours, three hours, I don't really care. Because it's just scaling corpus enemies. The difference is, I have Merrimont. I mean, different from what I usually do. 
And with Naramon, your your combo never drops, which is it basically never drops. So I would say that's probably the biggest thing for this. You know, once again, I want to shout out Lost for saying that because I never put two and two together. But a huge shout out to him. Okay, so I have 27 points. I don't know why I kept going. All right. Whoa, we're rolling. All right, spin to win. This is when it comes in handy. Was it a person? Oh, it's a person. All right, catch moves. And this is pretty much how it goes for the entirety of the index. And what I do, if you guys haven't noticed, you see how they just spawn up here? This is why I kind of hang out in this area. Whoa, that was an accidental kill. Ah, oh, dude, they have to address that, man. There's so many like little, little things in here that they really should address. Drop that point, what you doing, sir? I think I just need one, one or two more points. I don't know. Because we only need 79 points. Hmm. Okay, that's that. I'll get this one down here. Alright. So that's 30 points. That means we're off to the next round. Alright. And then I usually, I literally just hang up here. And eventually something will spawn. Just this general, yep, there it goes. Ah, I lost my berserker. Okay, you just, oh, nice. So usually with those, you just crouch until they stop shooting and you're good. Um, one of the best tools I have to say is lockdown in here. Um, cause it's, cause of course you can use it. Are you still down there? Dude, how is this person over there? Whatever. Actually, it's good that, that Ember's over there. Alright, so you see how I lost my armor? That's okay, because if you spam your second ability, you can just do a pickup and get your armor back. Now, it's best in a situation like that, right? That right there is all armor, right? But I can't do it because I already popped my armor. And what do I mean by that is you want to pop your armor when you're under heavy, heavy fire. And there's two particular enemies I recommend popping your armor right before running into them. And that is the... Uh, who is it? That is the uh, the raptor and that hyena that spits the fire out of his tail. The little fireballs. Especially that, that hyena with the little fireballs. Those little fireballs are entirely too strong. You will get so much armor just from dealing with them. Also, you gotta watch out for this guy because sometimes his magnetic will strip your armor. And I mean strip your ferret, your your iron skin is what I mean. There's one. There's two. There's three. Got 
that the one? That's the one. See that? Hit the bubbles, hit the ah. Oh. Didn't drop it. If that thing would have dropped bubbles at that moment, I probably would have had twenty or thirty thousand. Uh, or nice. All right, so let's go turn it in again, and then we can start stacking our next bonus ten. So we're at fifty points. Ah, sorry. I saw the enemy back there, but. I feel like there'll be more of a congregation of them over here. And I see you, buddy. Another thing, so if you're not the host, don't use lockdown as much. It's pretty much that straightforward. If you are the host, lock down it up. Now, I'm not going to be using it that much. Um, I like to use it, but I don't want to, you know, this is in case I want to play as though, you know, your teammates are using it. So I'm not going to be using it the way that I use it. The way that I use it, I use it constantly if I'm the host. Like, I lock every enemy. This is how I do it. Because I treat my iron skin literally like, literally like backup. Okay, I'll get to him later. Like, that's how I do the index, so I've never run out of armor. Because there are times where you'll just get hit, right? And I don't want to get hit because I don't want to lose my armor. Because there are some enemies who can hit so hard that they'll knock 30 armor off of, or 30, what is it? They'll knock like 7,000 off your armor. And you just have to watch out for that stuff. Sometimes upwards of 50, so. Rhino is literally like a honey badger right now. Oh, that is iron skin heaven right there. these in and now we only need nine points took off like 75% of my armor. Alright, there's that one. Last one. because I did that heavy attack. Please don't spit that out the butt. So as you guys can see, it's really not, I mean, it's the weapon, sure, but it's not the weapon. It's the fact that I have a constant, like, 
11 or 12 times multiplier. That's why. You know what I mean? And usually when I was doing the index with the nerd, I was just literally just trying to keep my combo up. Like the whole time. It was just a game of how long I can keep my combo multiplier up. So yeah, you don't need like a lot. And I would imagine this. Like, hey! Aww. Like I said, he was in the perfect spot. Like there's the energy orb. Ah! And I have one left. Do you see this? Somebody needs to shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me! There we go. Shoot me! He's not gonna shoot me. Oh, now a little bubble butt wants to come out and drop all his little orbs. Alright, so anyway, so you guys saw the build in the beginning. Um, it's not rocket science. I'm not doing magic. It's not, it's not some crazy synergy or whatever. It's, I'm not using Ronald's Roar. It's not nothing special. I'm not special. It's just viral, weak wound, blood rush, condition overload, and Neramon. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing more. And then I use attack speed instead of damage. I use attack speed as my damage. That's, that's all. It's a thing that I got from fighting games. You can hit the enemy one hard time, or you can hit the enemy a million small times. Either way, they're both going to do the same thing. But if you can hit the enemy a million hard times strong, that's even more deadly. Uh, what are you doing, sir? Alright, 22 points. Oh, that's that guy. Hey, you gotta be careful for running up on him. Okay, <laughs> 6 9. Nice. Alright. So if you notice, I'm in the same location over and over and over and over and over again. Well, that's just this tile set. The other tile set, you can, I can actually go everywhere. It's just on this tile set, they only spawn in like two or three locations. And if you don't catch them at those two or three locations, they're God knows where on the map. Like they'll literally be anywhere on the map and then you're in the index forever. To hunting them down as they're hunting you down, like it's just terrible. So. Dude, I need that dude to do that when I pop my iron skin. Like, for real. Look, there it goes again. See that? That little bar right there? That does so much damage. And I never get that when I re-pop my iron skin. Did I kill him? Oh. Hey! Take my slow there, buddy. I feel like there's another one. Uh, it was another one. Okay. Hey. Get uh, I set this map. I know y'all saw them legs. Yep, that's 20. Which is actually 30. 
Eh, io non trovo bene. Every mission I do, this this just occurred to me just now. I'm still, uh, I'm still thrown away by this cool Grindhouse squad saying that, saying that the what's gonna call it was the best arcane. Like nah, bro, the best arcane is lockdown by a mile. Like I use like it, dude. Lockdown, lockdown is better than energize. Like you take you take energize to some missions with some frames. You take lockdown to every mission with every frame. Lockdown should have been like I would not be surprised if they make lockdown some kind of like legendary arcane. Would not be surprised. And I could have turned this in a while ago. Anyway, that is how you do the index. If he wants to go again, totally up to him. Uh, but that is it for the most part. I'm sure he's down for the or, or not. But yeah, so <laughs> that is how I index. Uh, that is, you'd be surprised how surprisingly common that that result is. That be, and it's really just because, and that's without Naramon. It's just spin the wind. It's just a slash weapon with a viral. It's attack speed and blood rush and condition overload there's nothing special about anything i'm doing there's nothing special i'm just hitting spin to win and i'm hitting with a condition overload blood rush viral that's literally it uh if you want i can take the ribbon off i know the ribbon's helping it is helping a lot you know, the, the melee ribbon is helping a lot. Like, it is helping a lot. You know what I mean? It would basically cut my, if I'm not mistaken, I would end up, to get the same results, I would end up cutting my crit, my additional crit damage by a quarter. Because the only other crit damage one is this one, which is 85%, and this is 162%. So, you know, 80, 80, 80, 80, basically, right? 80, 80, 80, 80, that's four 80s. I would take a whole 80 out, basically, to put that in there, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Um, so the ribbon does help, but that's all I'm doing. You know, um, as you guys know, I use healing return. I don't need that, because we're using Rhino, so, organ shatter. Um, I don't recommend Inaros in there, especially since he's coming out. I know a bunch of people are gonna be like, yeah, Inaros. I'll be back later, feeling tired, no problem. GG, brother. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so, um, I don't recommend Narrows at all. 
because I went from you have to you have to think about this logically. Be smart, guys. So if I'm going from 300 health to 10 health, you're gonna go from 9,000 health to 300 health with no armor. So like, don't do that. Okay. Um, that's pretty much that right there. Uh, if you want to know what the credits are for, uh, basically, you know, when you see stuff like anything that requires, you know, credits, you know what I mean? Because I do, I max mods, I max this, I max that, you know what I mean? Like a product flow or whatever, right? If I had an extra one of these, I could just go max it out and sell it, you know what I mean? Um, and get, I can get the, the difference on it, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much anything. So when I get back to this chat, uh, this number up here is going to go from, you know, it's just, it's going to go up. But right now, I don't really care about this because I'm waiting on the Norris Prime. So this is not effective. Because that, because like, like I said before I even got this, was like, dude, that's not a problem. Platinum is not a problem. If I need it, I'll get it. You know what I mean? So I don't care about balling on people. You know what I mean? It's not it's not what it's about. If I want Enormous Prime, I'll go get flat and just buy Enormous Prime. But I don't have to have 5,000, 4,000, 10,000. I don't have to have that in my in my plat bucket. Because I have 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 platinum worth of stuff. I don't need the plat right now. If I need it, I'll go sell something and then get it. Does that make sense? Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and continue doing the index, I guess. And if any of you guys are on uh, PlayStation, go ahead and send me a message. Just whisper me, and I will send the invite if you guys want to go. If you guys do prodmen, that would be even better, because I need... My goal is like 80 million credits or something ridiculous. It's something ridiculous like that. Um... That's not the highest I've seen. The highest I've seen was like 250 million credits. But, like, I don't need that much. It's just, you gotta think. Um, let's say I want to sell, just for example, let's say I want to sell a max adaptation, right? How much, how many credits is that gonna cost, right? Well, I got the endo, and I got way more endo than that, believe it or not. But to max just this mod is 1.4 million, right? So it's like, hey, I got this adaptation, it's max, 100, 80, 90, 70, 110, 120, whatever the negotiated price is, this happened to me before. I'll come in here and I'll end up having to sell the one I got go get credits and max out a new one for myself and put it back on all my all my stuff and that's terrible you know so just to kind of prepare for you know what's coming up it's like okay well let me just go ahead and get a bunch of credits so um hopefully you guys want to join if not then i will just do it again um why I have not had a cigarette today. So, uh, I'm sure you guys already know about Rhino. Everybody knows about Rhino. But this time, we're gonna do it with a different weapon. It is gonna be a dual sword weapon, but we're gonna do it with the twin croaker. Why? Because I wanna prove that it's not just a, matter of fact, we can do it with the Cronin. Matter of fact, where's it at? Let's do it with the hemlock. Not even a hemlock. I want to do it with a weapon that, like, people use, but let's do it with an Nakana. Yeah, let's do it with an Nakana Zolf, right? No ribbon. Or there is a ribbon, but I think it's a crap ribbon. What's that? Status chance? Status chance, cold crit chance. Dude, 96 rolls on this. For that. And people be wanting that roll. Like, bro, what are you smoking? Why do you want crit chance? Dude, you got 760 right here. You can get a whole another 360 on just Helios, and then get a whole another 360 on Inaros. Why do you need 115 on a ribbon? 
115 versus the 1440 that you got, what is that 115 really gonna do for you? Or 200 or 300, what's that What's that 110 really gonna do? Let's say it was a negative on this, what is that 200 gonna do for you? Is the crit chance really doing that much? Like, is it though? Or are you just seeing red numbers? Like, come on, come on bro, you, come on bro. Come on, bro. You know you just trying to be the kid with the new Nikes. You know good and goddamn well them Nikes don't even fit you, bro. Like, come on, bro. You ain't lying. You ain't lying to me. I know why you got that crit chance on that, really. All right, well, I'm going to go smoke, and I will talk to y'all in a minute. Holla.